Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be working on a 10 by 10 stretched canvas. I'm going to be trying to create a art piece that's going to be going into a raffle basket for one of the groups that I belong to. So um, I'm going to try to create something very beautiful and with a flower in it. I've never done this before, so hopefully I come out with something pretty that won't be embarrassing me. Anyway, I'm going to use a couple techniques. First is going to be a flip cup and then a sink strainer to get the flower effect. I've already mixed my paint for the flip cup and it's just going to be blue and yellow. I'm hoping to get some blue, yellow, green looks for the background. All of my colors have flow troll in them except the white. Anyway, let's get started. I've already put my colors in the cup and it's blue and yellow with white and I'm going to put an X in there and I'm going to flip my cup. I did pre-treat my cup with some silicone blaster so it won't stick to the sides as much and we can get all the paint on the canvas. Okay, we've let this sit here for a couple minutes so let's lift up and see what we have. The cup is really cool looking, I don't know if you could see that. So far so good, we're seeing lots of cells here. I'm happy with that. We'll give it a few minutes for the cells to keep rising to the top and then we'll torch it. While I'm waiting for those cells to come up, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing a small cup for the sink strainer. I don't wanna to put too much in the cup because I don't want the flower to overtake the background. All the colors that I use will be listed in the video description. I'm really taking a chance doing this over top of the background because I am a Butterfingers. Set that aside for now. Okay, let's get the torch. Oh yeah, I see a lot more cells coming up. I use my hand as an edge catcher. When you tilt, when you go to the edge, you want to bring it back to the center. Got some beautiful cells. I'm gonna to try to stretch that out a little bit more because I'm gonna be covering up the center anyway. That's gorgeous. I'm really happy with that so far. I almost hate to cover it up. Okay, now for this sink strainer. I'm hoping this works. I've never tried it before. I think I needed a little bit more white in there for some contrast. pretty but it's not exactly what I was going for so I'll be doing a little manipulation on this. In case you're wondering, I'm using medical tubing.
Okay, I'm going to use a little trick that I saw from Scott Alexander Rivera. And I'm going to take some of the paint out of the center because I have a lot of paint in here. So what I'm going to do is push down on the canvas. Push down and get it to flow into the center. And now I'm going to add a little bit of blue so I can do a swirl in the center. Hopefully this comes out. Okay, I think I'm going to be stopping right now. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and stay tuned for close-ups. See you next time. Bye.